Hello and welcome to this, the first of three video tutorials on how to create a base map using a free software called LibreCAD. To show you what a base map looks like, I shall throw up an image here. This is a base map of the Dominican Prairie and Athenoi. And basically what I've done here is I've taken an aerial photograph and basically drawn over the details that are of interest for air maps. So I've done the outside walls of the Dominican Priory and I've done an outline of some of the plots there. And basically what you'll do then is you'll take this map out on site and you'll put in all the smaller details of headstones that you really may not pick up on an aerial photograph at all. So it's a good starting point and it will help to get you started on collecting data from your cemeteries or graveyards near you. So these are the topics I'll be covering today. I'll do a search for LibreCAD, searching for local cemeteries and graveyards using findagrave.com. A word about findagrave.com, it's useful for getting the GPS locations of cemeteries in and around Galway. Well, find a grave doesn't seem to have in place is a quality control system. Now the cemeteries and graveyards in and around Galway tend to be fairly unique in so far as that they have a lot of artwork and the inscriptions on them that really, to be, really need to be deciphered by an expert archaeologist. So findagrave.com I wouldn't be so sure to use that as a, a starting point for finding genealogy information i would certainly go to uh, somewhere more local like maybe galway county council or wherever it is you live go to the county council website and look for genealogy information there the next cover topic we'll be covering is copying the gps coordinates from find a grave paste them into bing and then taking a screen capture of the image, the aerial image, bringing that into LibreCAD, and then we we'll start doing our drawing, but that'll be in the, se the second video. So anyway, this is how we start off getting a, a base map started and getting an aerial photograph. So what I'm going to do is in my favorite web search engine I'm going to type in LibreCAD download hit return on your keyboard and this is the first result you get just click on that go to downloads and what you should do is click on one of the links in here that best suits the platform that you're going to use so you can download the LibreCAD application for Mac or you can download it for Windows and I'm going to select Windows and up should pop this window that gives you a link to start downloading your application So this usually takes about five or six seconds to elapse before you'll get the actual link to download. And once you've done that, just save that to the download folder. It'll auto automatically save to your download folder on your PC. So I've already done this. So I'm going to X out of this. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to find findagrave.com and we're going to type in here. I'm just going to look for a cemetery in Lacrae. Again, 
Mutter, ein Kind. And oh, I'm just going to pick Gary Breda. And what I want, you'll see this page come up, and what I want is to click on one of these options here. And what I'm looking for is the GPS coordinates, so I can just uh, left click on this. And when it's highlighted, right click, click copy. So I'm going to go to a new tab and I'm going to type in here. I'm going to type in Bing Maps. And just click on the first result there. And you, you should get a page that looks just like this. And click inside this field here, right click, click paste. And hit the search icon here. We don't need this. Now, what we're looking for is the aerial, so we'll just switch from road to aerial. And here's Gary Breda here. And what we'll do is we'll use a program on our PCs called the snip tool. So if we go down to this search icon, just click on that, type in snip. There's the application that the snip application. So we can just click on this, and that's the symmetry there. And what we can do is we can save this, making sure that we're in the right folder on our C drive. Symmetry. Gary Breda Cemetery Aerial and I'll just type Aerial 01 to keep track of our images. Click Save and that's really it for this part of the tutorial. And the next one, I'll be showing you how to open up LibreCAD how to bring in that image and how we can start out drawing an outline of all of the in places or parts of interest on that map. And in the final video, I'll be showing you how to print off your map. Thank you very much for this watching this video. See you in part two.